Hey guys, I got one up. He used to go out and um, sometimes he'd come back with spit on him. Sometimes he'd come back with his bicycle wheels deflated and the handlebars and seat turned around the wrong way. Um, or he'd go out, to, you know, he'd start going out on his bike and then he'd hear some of the kids go saying, oh look there's Ben, let's get him. So he'd just come straight back in again. And he, he got to a stage where he was just too scared to even leave the house. We actually moved house um, because of the bullying. I want something to hold in the hand. You want me to come sit here? <laughs> okay, now you're here, now I'm going to explain. Yeah? Yeah. Alright. Okay, um, yes, yeah, now I'm going to go. Yeah? Some stupid kid just throwing a stone at me. Throwing stones at you? Yeah. Yeah? Come here, yeah. Hey, Feb. Hey, Fatty. In terms of his confidence in society, I think that was the, the thing that was really destroyed. Um, and I think there's still traits of that, and, and on a regular basis I still have to offer him reassurances about all sorts of things. Yeah, he's just a, he's a real performer, a real sort of effervescent character, you know, really outgoing, loves to have fun, loves to have a laugh, and uh, you know, he's pretty sensitive to him at the same time. Pineapple, see? That's cool. We need tomatoes. And also we need tomatoes. Tomatoes are red and juicy. Can you put them on the list then? Yeah. If there was some sort of somebody who could actually tell the parents what to do, because you really don't know what to do. I think people who aren't involved necessarily with it, they don't realise how much it happens and I think it's really really important to actually really tell people about it because it it happens all the time um, and I think Mencap have been doing an absolutely fantastic job. I'm just um, I, I, I'm just nervous with people around um, this time of night. <laughs> He will probably always come across bullies all his life. And I suppose one reaction is that you're going to wrap them up in cotton wool. And the trouble is, is that, especially with a child with a disability, if you wrap them up in cotton wool, they're not learning any of those things that they need to learn to be independent. He wants to, to kind of do things on his own. And I think that's, you know, he feels proud when he can be independent. And I think he likes to show us that, that he can do that on his own and that he's, he's you know, he's kind of moved forward.